Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our For Honor Hero build. And next, we have our Lawbringer, Peter Stonewall, the Storm. And here, it, it, this is probably one of my favorite um, Lawbringer builds. Um, just because I really love how I got the armor set for him, it just really stands out. So, this one will be pretty easy for the most part. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first off, um, to build this hero, you're going to want the Horkos Caspa Helm, which, again, I, I think it's limited, but I think it comes back after a while. Um, I think another good replacement, though, would be this one, the Dignified Veneer Helm. Um, so that would be a good second option, or anything that looks similar to this. Um, so, and then the chest, also kind of the Horko's Caspa, um, chest plate, but, uh, again, I, I would say a good alternative would be probably something like this, uh, again, the Dignified Veneer chest would also work, um, and then for the arms, you're gonna want the, or, I'm not even gonna pronounce that one, <laughs> but you can see it on screen, um, you're gonna want these arms, and then... For the weapon, um, the pole arm, you want the Linebeck X uh, head. And then for the um, staff, you want the, uh, I think it's Cephal Dwarf Shaft. That's a weird name, but <laughs> yeah, you're going to want this. Um, and then for the head, you want the Elizar Spike. Which, that one is limited, but, um, I think there was a, another one I could use. Uh, this one also could work, the Beloth Minerva Spike. Um, I wish I had the other one I had in mind. I forgot the name, but it's kind of similar to this one. Um, it has a little bit gold and uh, silver look onto it. But, this one could also work, at least for temporary. Alright, and then for the head, you want no paint pattern, no symbol, no embossing. Like I said, this one is um, going to be pretty easy for the most part because um, I really just let the armor kind of do speak for itself. I don't need like a whole lot to kind of plaster onto them. For the shoulder, you want no paint, no symbol, no embossing. Mostly because also how the shoulder blades is designed. Um, it, it just look it would look weird if you put something on there. Um, like that. <laughs> um, because, like I said, the armor kind of speaks for itself. So, I mean, I, you could do some kind of symbol. Like your emblem or something on there. But, like, it's already hard to see as is. So, I, f I feel like it's kind of pointless. Alright, and again, for the, the other side, again, nothing. Just completely clean. For the chest and back, again, no paint, no symbol, no embossing. Just all simple and straightforward. Now this is where it changes a little bit. For the paint pattern, you want the skewed verticals, which you get from the uh, Year 1 Heroes bundle. Um, I'm not sure if you can just get that off the bat or what, but I would say probably a good um, sub for it would be let's see yeah uh vert line works and um it could probably do triangle across uh this one what would you get pretty much off the bat essentially it, they're easy to get well i mean some of them you get at reputation like six and up but again they're, they're, not, they're not too high up to get there to get these um, well, again, you, you do want the skewed verticals. Um, no symbol, no embossing. Pretty simple. Uh, for the uh, crest, you want the pierced blade, which you just you just get the um, completing the night story on the campaign, but on the hardest, which is a realistic level. Um, I just like how it really looks. <laughs> It'd be cool if there was an execution where he would just like charge like a freaking bull and just like stab people <laughs> but that they won't do that because you know 
it's just a little trinket thing but I just like how it looks just kind of like shows that superiority look um, and then you want silver just kind of more like the traditional knight look with um, silver um, you can do gold but I think this um, because of the gold outline on the armor itself is already there I feel like just the silver like stands out more you could do iron too there's not too much of a difference, but the silver kind of gives a little bit of a shine. And you get this out Reputation 6, level 20. Um, you could also buy an, uh, another one. Um, you could do white iron, which is not too bad. Um, you don't unlock this at any time. You, you have to buy it. Rose gold also works. And those would be my choices of them. Again, bronze is kind of like gold. Um, it, it's okay. It just doesn't look as good. The silver in my opinion. And then for the colors. You want shore lines. Which you get at reputation 10. Level 20. So again. Not too hard to really build. Um, this guy right here. And then. I kind of decided to do kind of like a demolition. Build of him. So he's. Pretty much a bomber. <laughs> um, he'll just chuck bombs. Um. He's the kind of guy that I would describe him as just, just get the job done. Victory is all matters. So um, I would have him have, uh, for his first perk, Harsh Judgment, which will reduce a target's stamina for a short period, or a short, the for a short moment. Um, I don't know exactly how long it lasts. I think it's like a good five seconds. So it's not too much, but it does help in the in some ways um and then for the second one you want juggernaut um it slows you down but you gain a high damage reduction and you're slippery and uninterruptible for your attacks unless you're countered of course um so try to mix up your moveset pretty much and then again you want the uh pugno mortis and the igneous ember um grenades to use this one does for moderate damage. This one I usually use for the um, bots on the field because it, it has a bigger radius. Um, this one I would use in, within like ganking situations. Um, it helps break up the fight and gives you a little bit of breather time or you can help out a teammate a little bit. Um, it does damage your teammates, but it, it doesn't do as much compared to the enemies. It does a lot more to the enemies than um, your, yourself. So just so you know, this one, I think it does evenly um, take a lot of damage on both sides. Which is why I'll only use this for the bots on the field. And that's it for your feats. Uh, for your executions, you want Cyclonic Justice. Just kind of show that dominance. It's, it's still one of my favorites. I mean, just look at the cutscene. Just boom. Nice and clean. And this is a heavy weapon, so that is definitely realistic to do that. For your next one is long shot. Again, it looks really good on the cutscene, but it's also a fast execution compared to the other one. So it's good to have. Um, then this one you have like right off the bat, backbreaker. I just like how brutal it is, and, and you know Lawbringer has some pretty good executions. He also has some corny ones like the riding horse one, but uh. Or the old come on but um yeah I, I do like this one still and it's not too long it does take a little bit of time but it's still pretty fast um and then you want the uh 10a cursum which again in the cutscene looks really good and um it just shows that dominance this guy really wants likes to show his dominance like he's in a full suit of armor he's got one of the Baddest weapons to use. No, I mean, baddest and good. So, yeah, those are the executions you want. And then, emotes, it really doesn't matter too much. Anything that shows a dominance. This one is limited. I did want to get this one because it makes sense for his character, the most wanted. Um, I don't know if they'll bring it back. They, they might bring it back eventually, but, uh,. Yeah, you get the um, exclusive heresy of the relics event emo emote. Uh, well, the event of 
Heresy of Relics, which uh, happened a little bit recently, but um, yeah, I like I said, they might bring it back, and I'm sure they will. Um, some of these they did bring back, and they just officially kept them. So I don't know if it'll be like a year or something, but um, this would be ideally what you would want. And then Glorious, which is your uh, standard one, just like a little ego thing going up. Pumped up, I guess it could work. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it, honestly. Uh, for combat, any of these probably would work. Maybe not that one. <laughs> um. Okay, anything but pony and, uh. You're welcome, yeah. Not these two. <laughs> Not these two. Every other one will work. Um, signature, I just have the f standard well done. I just like how he just plants it down. It's like, yeah, I'm the talk dog here. Um, effects? No effects, honestly. Um, I just like him to be just like more original. So nothing all that special. And that's really about it. Um, this one was... Pretty easy. As soon as I got the set, I was like, I knew what I'm going to do with him. So, if you want to build my boy Wallbringer here, Peter Stonewall, the Storm, then by all means, go for it. Um, th so, thank you all for watching. And uh, if you're new to the channel and like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Feel free to ask any questions down below. If you all want to help support the channel, I have links to my socials in the description. And I will see you all. In the next one, take care.